Okay, good morning, Ebony. Are you my star today? <laughs> this is Ebony Rose. I'm the author of the Diaries of Liberty the Pug. She's going to get off now for a little while and sit beside me. <laughs> here we have Pippa, who's down here with Giraffe. Say hi, Pippa. Yes, say good morning, everybody. And here we have Liberty, who is fast asleep with her giraffe. <laughs> Lovely to talk to you all again today. Hey, the girls are a little lazy. It's very warm in Arizona today. I think we're going to get to 111. Anyhow, I am the author of the Diaries of Liberty the Pug, and I write stories about all the pugs you've just met. There's Liberty, Ebony Rose, and Pippa. There's the giraffe, which she's laying on right now. <laughs> and this is the elephant. That's Ellie the elephant. That Ebony Rose always loves to cuddle up to on our bed at night. Today we're reading Whisper and Sniff. <laughs> I wonder what that's all about. You're getting warm up here, Ebony Rose. I'm going to find your way out. <laughs> I think she's finding a way out. Okay, let's start, shall we? Whisper and sniff. Mom and Dad are working in the garden today. Ebony Rose, Pippa and I go out and join them. I fall asleep for a little while on my chair with my favorite comfy blanket. Ebony Rose and Pippa trot off to sprawl under the orange tree to watch Mom and Dad. I can hear leaves being raked and the shears snapping together as the bushes are trimmed. They're in the garden. Remember, it's Liberty who's talking and telling the story because it's her stories. Liberty is blind, so she can't read them for the children. But she sure is my co-author. It is a cool day today, and I enjoy being outside and feeling the gentle breeze. The garden birds are singing and calling to one another. I love the twitter sound from the hummingbirds flying around. The hummingbird feeder. We love to see the hummingbirds in the garden. We have a very busy garden that is full of nice smells and busy birds, bees, and butterflies. Ebony Rose told me earlier that our friends, the woodpecker family, are back, and I can hear them pecking on the jacaranda tree. Our pet birds, Bubble and Squeak, Budgerigars, are in their cage. Daddy hangs their cage from the roof of the deck on a chain every day, so they feel loved and time spent outside with us. They are singing their tiny hearts out for all the world to hear. Sometimes budgerigar birds can get pretty loud. <laughs> Here's a picture of our garden. Can you see the girls there? And the jacaranda tree? Yes, you have it all there. There's Ebony Rose and Liberty and Pip and the jacaranda tree. If you visit my website, you'll see all of those things in the garden. Slipping carefully off of my chair and stepping down the little ramp that Dad made for me at the side of our redwood deck. Yes, our redwood deck has steps. Many decks have steps. But being blind, Liberty doesn't use the steps. So she has a special way at the side of the, of the deck that Daddy made for her. I join Ebony, Rose and Pippa sniffing around in the garden. I love trotting amongst the flower petals and that have blown off of the jang jacaranda tree in the wind. The grass and petals feel soft under my paws. Ebony Rose told me jacaranda flower petals are purple and that I look like a real princess trotting around on the beautiful purple carpet. I really do feel like a princess. I bet that's fun, huh? Some days my paws feel crispy leaves from the orange tree and I smell orange blossom. Our garden is constantly changing and every day I explore, sniff, smell and feel new flowers, leaves and grass. Sometimes I get mud on my nose and bits of leaves on my head but no worries. Mum soon cleans my face with a soft warm damp face cloth. I love my mum. I love my pugs. <laughs> Ebony Rose, Pippa, Wiggly, that's
that's her little name we call her wiggly because she has a wiggly butt <laughs> and i stop to sniff wherever we go especially when we walk in kiwanis park park smells change all the time mom and dad patiently wait for us they understand we love to sniff grass trees puddles garbage cans walls and fences it is all interesting to us i am blind and i love to sniff everything every sniff tells me a story we are very happy sniffers we know if our dog friends are nearby and when the sprinklers are on the wet grass smells wonderful we keep our nose and ears on high alert listening to the sounds of voices and water splashing in the lake perhaps somebody is in a kayak my mum likes to kayak a long time ago, we fed bread to the ducks in the park, but now we know that feeding ducks makes them sick, so we no longer feed them. We make sure we take special food for the ducks if we want to feed them. No more bread. Bread gives them a tummy ache. And it's true, I do love to kayak. Have you tried it? A lot of fun. Mom and Dad are packing up the garden tools. Time to go back in the house. When Mum and Dad are fast asleep tonight, Ebony Rose, Pippa, and I will whisper the secrets we learned from spending the day in our garden. Do you give your pets time to sniff grass and other things when you take them outside? Be patient with your furry friends. Their walks are very special to them. Let them enjoy their walks. It makes me so sad when I see people pulling their dogs along by the leash and not letting them take the time to stop, to do their business and to sniff. After all, it is their walk. Let them enjoy it. Be kind to your pets. And remember, Ligeia Books do make my books. They are my publishers and they do a wonderful job with all of the pictures. I have lots of books. And you can visit all of the books, all of the stories, all of the readings each week on www.thediariesoflibertythepug.com. You can meet the pugs there. You can meet the whole family. And you can look in the garden. Bye-bye for now. I'll see you next week.